Hi, for this video, I just want to talk to you about the symbol that we use for the element of a set, and then we're going to determine if a value is an element of a set or not. So the symbol that we use to represent the element of a set is this E looking symbol. Okay, but anytime you see this in math, you're just going to read it as the element of a set. Okay, so for example, if we had set A are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we could say that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are all elements of set A. Okay, um, so a lot of times you'll have problems like this where it'll ask you whether the statement is true or no, true or false. So if I look down here, I can see that they're asking, is 5 an element of set B? So if I look at set B, we have the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And so we would say this is a false statement. And mathematically, we would write it as 5 is not an element of B. So if you put a slash through the element symbol, it's read as not an element of. Okay, and so our next one that we have, it asks us, is 8 an element of B? So if we look, we can see that 8 is indeed contained in set B. So we would say that, yes, this is a true statement. 8 is an element of B. So this was just a really quick video just to kind of do a snapshot of the element that we use or the symbol that we use for the element of a set. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.